The S3 Load Generator is a wizard that helps you load delimited data from public objects in an S3 bucket to a cloud data warehouse. Unlike common components, the Load Generator does not appear as a standalone component when dragged onto the job canvas. Instead, the Load Generator takes the form of a wizard that lets you load and view files on the fly, altering load component properties and observing their effects without the need for a separate transformation job. The generator can also guess the schema of a table. In this example, we'll use the Matillion S3 load generator to locate a file of sales data, then load it to a cloud table ready for transformations. To begin, drag the S3 load generator onto the canvas of an orchestration job. It can be found in the Components panel under Orchestration, Wizards. This will automatically begin the wizard, which consists of three pages, Get Sample, Guess Schema, and Validation. On the first page, Get Sample, we will choose the S3 bucket we're going to access, then sample the data. Use the Amazon S3 storage field to specify the file you would like to load from your S3 bucket. In this example, a file of sales data. Use the compression field to select the compression type if the file you are loading is compressed. Available options are gzip and bzip2. As the file in this example is an uncompressed CSV, we'll select none. Use the row limit to limit the data returned in the sampling process. We'll leave this on 50 for now. Then click Get Sample to return a sample of your selected file. You can see our comma delimited file here. Click Next and now we're on the Guest Schema page of the wizard, where you can configure the table's properties such as delimiter and date format. We can use the S3 Load Generator's Guest Schema feature to guess and populate the table's schema. For this to work, the file you are loading will require a header record to be able to guess the schema. But for files without a header record, the schema can be manually input and edited. So for our example, most of the information is correct, but the unit price and order total columns need changing to numbers with two decimal places. And we'll also need to specify our date format. Then click next onto the validation page where we can now press the test button to validate the schema configuration. You can see the raw data at the top and our sample at the bottom. If there are any errors in the schema, they will be displayed here. So for a quick example, if we go back a page in the wizard, remove the date format we added, then test the data again on the validation page, we'll get the following error messages. Errors like this can be fixed by going back to the guest schema page to edit the configuration. When we're happy, click Create and Run. The wizard will close and will have created two components in your orchestration job. A linked create table and S3 load components. The properties populated with the options selected in the wizard. The properties of which can be edited if required by going to the properties tab of either component. Connect the create table component to the start component. Then when the job has validated successfully, right click on the canvas and click run job. This will create a new table in your cloud data warehouse and insert the data from the selected file in your S3 bucket into the newly created table. We can see if the job has run successfully in the task window, which also includes the number of loaded rows. And here we can see now the data available in our cloud table, ready for transformation. For full documentation on the S3 load generator, please visit the Matillion documentation site.